In today's video, I'm be going over the top three ways to get reviews for your paperback and eBooks on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dane and on this channel, I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Like I said in the intro, in this video, I'm going over my top three ways to get reviews on your paperback and your eBooks on Amazon Kindle Rec Publishing. Okay, and I made a prior video about how to get reviews on your audiobooks. And some of the methods are kind of similar to that one in this one, but there are a couple other methods in this video that I'm going over that are different from those ones. So it's definitely worth a listen if you're looking to get reviews on your paperbacks and your eBooks on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. And when it comes to these three methods, they're not in any particular order, but the last one is probably my favorite and the most important one when it comes to getting reviews on your books. And this is from personal experience. Personally, I utilize all three of these methods every single time that I launch a book, every single time that I have a book live on Amazon. These are the three methods that I utilize to get reviews on my books. So without further ado, let's jump on my computer. I'm gonna show you exactly what these methods are, how to use them and how to get started with them. So. Let's do this. So method number one is utilizing a site called Booksprout and other paid promotion sites. And this should seem pretty obvious if you're familiar with the KDP self-publishing world. These are things that we do every single book launch. But if you're just coming in, you're brand new to this and you, you're completely clueless as to how to get reviews, this right here is probably the most simple way to get reviews and the most straightforward. Okay, so let's talk about it. So when it comes to things like Booksprout, let me show you what the site looks like and how it works. It's very, very affordable and it's very simple to use, especially if you're just publishing your very first book. So I'm just click this here. It'll take me to Booksprout. As you can see, the pricing is quite affordable. If you're just doing one book and you're just starting out, the $9 per month plan is an excellent option. And basically what Booksprout is, it lets you upload your book and it uploads it as an ARC. And this is basically called an advanced reader copy. So before your book goes live on Amazon, it's good to get an ARC set up so you can distribute that ARC to people who are pre-readers to read your book. And then once the book goes live, you email or message or however you are in contact with those pre-readers, um, ask them to leave a review on your book. So once the book is live, they'll leave all those reviews because they usually we send out the ARC about two weeks, three weeks before the book goes live, give the people time to read the book. And then once the time comes to launch the book, we notify them and say, hey, are you able to leave the review on the book on Amazon now? And the best part about Booksprout is it gives you that ARC, which is like a specific link you can send to people and they can click the link, go to this page on Booksprout and download the book for free. On top of that, they also have a section, if I go to reviewers, you can see you can sign up for a free account. And what this is, I'll sign in here and just show you guys what it looks like from a reviewer's standpoint. So I'm here on the reviewer's standpoint. So basically it's just this area where all of the books that are currently on Booksprout are available for people to download for free. And this is basically Book, Booksprout's um, community that they have set up for you to use for free. I mean, you're paying $9 per month for this, but on top of just being able to distribute that arc link to people you know, maybe friends or family, or, or maybe it's an email list that you have, Booksprout also has another side where they basically promote your book to people who are in their network. And you can see if I was the reviewer, your book might pop up on this page, I can click it, and then I can go ahead and download the book for free. You can see it has a little page here, claim, and then you can, once the book goes live, Booksprout will notify them and they'll leave the review on your book. So it's a great way to generate reviews in the beginning. If you're just starting out, you have no list, you have no way of you have no idea how to get reviews for your books. Additionally, you can utilize things like paid promotion sites. And this is when your book is live already. This isn't before it goes live. So Booksprout is kind of before your book goes live. Pay promotion sites come into play when your book is live on Amazon. So these are the best sites that I've personally used. One is called Free Booksy. One is called Bargain Booksy, Fussy Librarian, and Book Dog. Okay, these four have gotten me the most uh, downloads and reviews in the past from my personal experience. And basically what these are, these three right here are all for paid book promotions. So basically you give them the link to your ebook, you make your ebook 99 cents, and then you give, and then they promote your book to their list on a specific date. So all of these services here have gigantic lists with a bunch of readers who are willing to download your book when they, uh, when these sites promote it on their email newsletter. Okay. And then free book C is when you uh, promote a free book. So basically you put your book on free book promotion on Amazon, give them the link. And then once that day comes around, free books, you will promote it. So let me show you what this looks like. So going to freebooksy.com, you can see Bargain Booksy and Free Booksy are the same company. So you can do um, books $4.99 or less, and then they'll promote it to their list. Okay, so you can see book, Bargain Booksy features, uh, gets your book in front of an audience who loves to buy books in your genre. Okay, so if you have a free book, this is all you would do. You click the free book, buy a free feature, or buy a feature. And in terms of nonfiction, if you're selling nonfiction, it's actually not that expensive. You can see here, this cookbooks, nutrition, self-help and how-to. 
and it's gonna be around 75 to hundred dollars. And that's for one promotion. And from my experience, you can get thousands of downloads from this single promotion, which definitely pays off in the long run in terms of getting reviews and boosting your book's ranking on Amazon. So these three services right here, or four services right here, FreeBooksy, Bargain Booksy, Fuss Librarian, and BookDoggy have been the best for me, and I highly recommend them if you're looking to get reviews for your books. Method number two is utilizing Facebook groups and subreddits, okay? And this one is actually very straightforward, and I kind of talked about it in the audiobook section, but this one is a little bit different because we're dealing with paperbacks and eBooks here. But for the Facebook route, this is how you would go about doing it. So for example, if I'm in my niche say is gardening or something like that, my book is in gardening, go to Facebook and look for your niche or your keyword. Okay. And I would search like gardening on Facebook and I have a example here. If you guys want to see, if you search gardening, go to groups on the left here, you can see there are probably hundreds of gardening groups. And all you'd have to do is click join group, join group, join group, join those groups. And then from there, what you're looking for is for the group to be um, highly active. Okay, so find groups with 10,000 or more members. And as you can see, those ones I just showed you had literally hundreds of thousands of people in them. If I go back to them here, it's almost 700,000 people in it. This one has 50,000, 550,000, 90,000. So you see there's tons of people in these gardening groups. So like I said, request to join them. And once you join them and see there should be, if there's daily posts coming in and within those groups, that should mean that they're active enough for you to make a post in there and potentially get more readers into your network. So before you do that though, ask the admins if it's fine for you to post about your book and share it for free with their members. And most of the times they'll be totally fine with this as long as your book is in the same niche or keyword or topic that the main group is about. If you're gonna provide your book for free to their members, they'll usually be totally open to it. And once you make that post, there'll be people commenting on it saying, hey, send me a free copy. All you gotta do is send them the PDF version of your book. And this is something you can do while the book is live if you're not in KDP Select or before the book goes live, you can do it kind of the way that we do it with Booksprout. So you send the people to book, two weeks before the book goes live. And then once it goes live, message them on Facebook, say, hey, the book's live now. Do you mind leaving that review? And this is very, very, very effective. So give them, get them to leave reviews once your book goes live. Same thing with subreddits, okay? And subreddits are kind of the same as Facebook if you're not familiar with Reddit. Um, all I did was look up uh, gardening on Reddit and there's an entire gardening group on Reddit or subreddit, whatever you want to call it, with 4.4 million members in it. And the only difference between Reddit and Facebook that I recommend you do is with Reddit, you can't, you could make a post in subreddit, but it's probably not gonna do very well. From my experience, um, find active users who are posting and commenting on posts in the subreddit. So find people who are active, posting, answering questions, stuff like that. Then go to their profile and message them individually to see if they're interested in getting your book for free. Okay, it's as simple as that, and most of them will say yes, and treat it the same way you would with Facebook, send them a PDF, wait for two weeks before the book goes live, and then send them the link once the book goes live and ask them to leave their feedback. And this typically works very, very well. This Facebook group and subreddit one is probably my favorite personal way to do this. Uh, lots of people get tons of reviews through Books Pro, but I love this Facebook slash subreddit one. Finally, number three should go without saying, but this is by far the most important method of getting reviews on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. Um, if this one isn't taken into account seriously, method not number one and method number two will not work out at all. So method number three is having a high quality book and having this snowball effect come into play once the book is live. So like I said, this is by far the most effective way to get reviews and it's also the most simple, okay? And this is basically doing all the hard work up front, making sure you have a high quality book, high quality cover, high quality title in a good keyword and that should pay off in the long run in terms of getting you reviews organically. Having high quality book does a lot of the work for you, especially if you put a page or two in the book asking for reader feedback. So maybe in the middle of the book or the end of the book, you say, hey, do you mind leaving a quick review and let me know your feedback on the book. If your book is high quality, it provides value and seems worth it to your reader, um, reviews will naturally happen over time. And this has happened with basically all of my books that I've put a ton of effort into that have been high quality. If you put that kind of effort into it, it will pay off in the long run with people leaving positive reviews, which again, creates a snowball effect and once people see reviews, they leave more reviews, they see positive reviews, you get more sales, and it just keeps adding up over time. For my books, once I get them to around, say, 15 to 20 reviews using the first two methods I talked about, I let this last method do the rest of the work, okay? I'm not gonna struggle with Booksprout and Facebook groups to try and get like 100 reviews from them. Once I get around 15 to 20, I'll leave the book alone. If the book's high quality, it should get reviews over and over again as the book sells. And the more reviews you get, the more sales you get, and it just kind of has that snowball effect. And another thing that I wanna mention is a high quality book also helps build an email list. And if you have an email list or a freebie or a lead magnet, whatever you wanna call it in your book to generate emails, um, obviously getting more reviews means more sales, means more traffic into your book, which means more people signing up for your email list over time. And once you promote a new book in the future, you can utilize that email list to get more reviews. Finally, let me talk about Pubby quickly. Pubby is another way to get reviews. Um, it's a site that 
used to be very, very effective. It's not as effective anymore, but I do find it's still worth a try. And it's basically like posting your book onto Pubby's network and then other readers will claim your book for what they call, they have a currency on Pubby called Snaps. They'll pay Snaps and you can, or you use your Snaps to post your book on Pubby. People download the book from Pubby and they leave a review on it. And basically a certain amount of Snaps will get you a certain amount of reviews. So this is another method. If you find the other ones aren't working for you, Pubby will definitely get you reviews. It just takes a little bit more time and effort. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Before I let you go, I do want to mention I do have a 100% free online community in a Facebook group. It's called KDP and ACX Self Publishing Secrets. The first link in the description down below will take you to that group. And when you join that group, you'll get access to a free five-step guide to getting started with self-publishing. It's pinned to the very top of the group. So as soon as you join that group, you'll see a free book. It's all about five steps getting started with self-publishing. So if you're brand new to self-publishing, this is the perfect opportunity for you. Join that group. And also there's tons of people in there. So you can post, you can ask any questions you have, network with other people who are in publishing. It's just excellent. I'm also in there. I'm active in there answering questions every single day. So again, if you want to join that group, it's the first link in the description down below. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you know when I post new videos, try to post new videos about self-publishing on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general every single week. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.